Hey y'all, welcome to Smoky Beginnings. Today we are making the Argentinian Delight Chimichurri. It's a vibrant and herbaceous sauce. First, we're gonna be starting with our dry ingredients, which is gonna be salt and pepper. And you could add red pepper flake if you need to add some heat. We're gonna add that to our mixing bowl. And then we are going to add our wet ingredients, which are gonna be red wine vinegar and oil. You can choose either olive, avocado, vegetable, or canola oil, pretty much any oil that you would like to use. So this is how this sauce gets its vibrant color. We start by rinsing it off in the sink. Then we are going to pat it dry, making sure that we get all the moisture off of the parsley here. We want just the leaves as the stems will add a bitter taste. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to use this little trick that I saw where you take the parsley and slide it through a hole on a cheese grater, which I didn't have, but I did have this little can drainer lid thingy. You want to make sure that the parsley is chopped up very fine you don't want to be getting parsley stuck in your teeth here so you can find the full recipe at smokybeginnings.com what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put our chopped parsley into our mixing bowl and we're going to continue cutting up uh, the rest of the bunch here while i'm chopping the parsley let's talk about how versatile chimichurri really is you can put it on grilled steak roasted vegetables chicken Pork. You can use it as a salad dressing, you can use it on a sandwich, or you can use it as a dipping sauce. This chimichurri sauce is just about great on everything. And we're going to go ahead and put all our ingredients into this mixing bowl and set it off to the side. After adding parsley to the mixing bowl, we're going to go ahead and clean up our station and then move on to chopping our onion. The tip here is to prevent yourself from getting those watery eyes is to cut around the core and not through it. You're going to rock your knife back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and chop, chop, chop until you have a finely diced onion. You're going to probably need about half a cup here, so that is about half an onion. Once you have finely diced an onion, add it to the mixing bowl, and then we'll go ahead and move on to chopping up our garlic. Next, you can add as much or as little as garlic as you want. I went ahead and I added two cloves of garlic because I just absolutely love it. One tip here is take the garlic, smash it on the cutting board, and the peel just comes off very, very nicely. Just like every other ingredient in this recipe, we want everything cut up and very, very, very fine so that it blends well. Once we have done that, we'll go ahead and add it to our mixing bowl. Now that everything's in the mixing bowl, we go ahead and blend it. If you want a chunky sauce, just leave it as is. However, if you're looking for something smooth and creamy, go ahead and add this mixture to a blender and blend it for a couple of minutes until you get a really nice green and vibrant sauce. Hey, if you found this content valuable, go ahead and check out our other content as we're uploading all the time. Have a good one.